Donald Trump hates poor white people. Why the racial specificity there? Because white is the only race that requires a qualifier for his sorry ass. I mean, he hates all black and brown people, and don't get him started on the Chinese. But if you're white, you have about a 15% chance he doesn't actively hate you. That's the approximate percentage of white families in America that are millionaires. But other than that, like if you're just a regular old middle class white, at best he might be generally ambivalent about your existence. But if you're one of my fellow trailer Americans, make no mistake, he fucking hates you. You've discussed him and always have. And look, like all Americans who have sexually assaulted someone on a Gulf Stream or given a thoroughbred a racist name, Trump hates all poor people. Of course he does. But I think that him hating poor white people deserves a distinction because as we all know, poor white people are supposed to be Donald Trump's rock. His kid rock. The sleeveless foundation upon which his white trash empire is constructed. Without y'all, he is nothing. So surely, he appreciates that fact, right? Well, ask the fucking military. Before Donald Trump, every conservative at every level of politics in this country agreed supporting the troops is non-negotiable. You wake up in the morning, you support the troops before you brush your teeth. You go to bed at night, say your prayers, support the troops. You're watching your wife get railed by a pool boy, you better support the troops before you even think about finishing, son. Knowing how to adequately support the troops is the second thing they teach you at Republican school. The first thing is how to only say the N-word in private. Supporting the troops is sacrosanct to the American GOP, and yet Donald Trump referred to disabled veterans as suckers and losers. See, he thinks it's stupid to make that kind of sacrifice even when it's in service of the country he presides over. So just imagine how grossed out he is by coal miners. Y'all think he looks at you any differently? You think when he talked about keeping low-income housing out of the suburbs, he meant only poor black people's homes? Try throwing up a single white in a cul-de-sac and see what happens. They mean you too. And I know he took the time to make a bunch of promises to you back in 2016. How's all that working out? Can your mama afford her medicine yet? Did the Mexicans bring your job back? Ain't shit better, is it? And some of y'all might be thinking, oh, fuck you, Trey. You run off to California. You don't know nothing about it. Hey, look, don't let the fancy beach plans fool you. I'm still one of y'all whether you like it or not. It ain't really up to me. You know how in Toy Story 4 the kid puts googly eyes on that spork and it comes to life and starts hollering at the main toys like, I can never be like y'all. I'm trash. Trash. Remember that? Well, that's me in Hollywood. I may be out here putting the bass in Ambassador, but I know what it's like. Damn near everybody in my family lost their livelihood when the factory left, the opioid epidemic ruined my mama's life and put countless other relatives in the ground, and I worry about my mama every goddamn day because she's 81 years old in a pandemic, and the hospital just closed for the second time in a calendar year. I fucking know. I know what it's like, and I know Donald Trump ain't done shit about it because he ain't gonna do shit about it. He don't care to. You want Donald Trump to care about you? Fund a super PAC, buy some ad space, pay for a tea time. Otherwise, put the red hat back on and shut the fuck up. That's how he sees it. Tell me I'm lying. Some of y'all might be thinking, okay, fine, he hates us, but hell, who don't? He could just join the club. And you're right. Nobody cares about us. I'm not going to stand here and bullshit y'all like, like coastal liberals or big Democrat gives a single fuck about what's going on in the trailer because they don't. I do think there are some people running this year that might care, that will try and y'all shouldn't write them off just because they got a D next to their name. But look, I don't know what the answer is. And I don't know how we fix what's wrong with rural America. But what I do know for damn sure is the big city blue blood motherfucker who was born with a silver spoon up his ass and thinks he's smarter and better than everybody else because of it ain't the man for the job. And I think deep down y'all know it too. You and your papaw. I love y'all.